Ahoy! So, um, I'm building a lot of quads and I'm using a lot of fiberglass for other projects and I like, I like working with fiberglass. I had to source out the uh, cheap fiberglass from, from Lithuania as a post-Soviet, whatever the shite. Uh, not very good quality fiberglass, so I decided uh, it's time to build and make my own fiberglass because I'm on the other side of the pond and to ship it, it will not be cheaper. So the way I calculate it, I can make my own fiberglass play cheaper than I can buy already pre-made fiberglass. Uh, I'm going to need my pumps for other projects anyway, so I don't include the cost of a labor and the time spent because I love DIYing. So I got this one, it's uh, 48 grams per square meter. Uh, I got this from Hobby King. There's a pretty cheap, pretty cheap, got loads of it. So it's a uh, half a square meter. It weighs 25 grams. Now the resin I'll be using is a wet system with a slow hardener, which is one squirt of hardener and one squirt of resin. It's 25 grams. As, as we all know, it's a, uh, Whatever you have, roughly fiberglass weight, you will need the same amount of uh, resin. So, uh, peel ply. Yet again, I'm a cheapskate. I'm gonna make my own peel peel ply. And just puncture the holes into the into the poly. It's a uh, polyethylene, the stuff that we use as a vapor barrier on a building sites. I got some scrap leftovers. Uh, eventually, I'll get some nice nice glass and stuff uh, for this one i just got the board just for just for testing i want to see how many layers do i need to get the right thickness because molding without the vacuum is one way and with the with the vacuum compresses the other way uh, i used uh, i used a canuba wax wax it on uh, then i use uh, two layers of a pva mold release I I had it spray it start bubbling on the wax and then I just pack it I just brush it on looks good enough surface is not very smooth but that'd be good enough for the future for me to test how that works uh, peel it off we're kind of ready to go uh, my vacuum pump RS1 uh, it's an oil pump a very cool thing to have uh, cooking pot it's uh, roughly nearly four millimeters in thickness of aluminum, gotten in a second-hand shop. Threaded a few, uh, put some caulking around and put some sally tape. Once I, tested, once I tested the pressure, minus one bar, it was staying nearly through the whole night and only slowly, so that's good enough for me. I will use it for as a, as a vacuum chamber, other people call it degassing chamber. But I'm using this one as a redundant because I want to get the vacuum first, want to have everything ready. I have it on a switch, uh, slowly having a, having a check, make sure everything's right. Because if I plug this one in, it starts sucking and there's probably no, no return. You have, if something goes wrong, you have to peel it off and this and that. So with this one, I can, I can control uh, slowly start, uh, start my vacuum. Right. Let's mix up some resin, and while I'm doing that, I can pre-pump uh, pre -pump my vacuum. Oh, forgot about the brushes. Um, sometimes I use a roller, but most of the time, uh, Dollarama, one buck for 125 for whatever, five of the, five of the brushes, and I, chopped, and I chopped half of an inch to make this one stiffer. Because when I'm when I'm applying, uh, that stretches out the fiberglass, and the stiffer stuff is uh, tap it in and releasing releasing the air. So oh. let's go. Now I have minus one bar, more than enough. Stuff is clean. All 
Okay. Now for the last two layers, <clears throat> it looked a bit, it looked a bit dry. Like it looked a bit maybe too dry on a on a more serious molding. I would not do that. I would leave it. I would leave it a bit more wet, a bit more resin. But just just for this one, because I needed a bit of a testing here. Just for this one, I use all the resin, all the resin that I had, and I use all the fiberglass, which makes just just about like 25 grams of resin. Uh, plus 25 grams of fiberglass okay let's get some peel ply on Cheap coke, acrylic silicone, whatever, acrylic latex coke plus silicone. like more or less sealed ish whatever <clears throat> we'll find out now shortly still going more resin more resin got out which is all good I got my pump working um, pressure is dropping very slowly it's nearly an hour past and it dropped only only two two thingies now i don't know what's wrong with that vacuum pump uh it does not want to run i clamped it there i thought maybe under the vacuum it doesn't want to start but that's not the case for some reason when it warms up it just doesn't doesn't want to doesn't want to start again uh there's enough oil Right in the middle. Don't know. Have to take it apart and see what's going on. Anyway, I have enough. Anyway, I have enough vacuum in there. That's nearly, nearly minus one bar overnight it will become like 0 0.2 0 0.4 ish which is roughly eight hours but with the with the west system i have i have safely half an hour working time with the slow hardener and then like if molding not something serious i can have even up to an hour working time which should still be good let's give it a little rest and then come back in the morning and peel it off. That was a very thin fiberglass, 12 layers. And turns out the thickness here, 0 0.6, 0 0.6 millimeters. Yeah, 0 0.6. So the stuff that I'm using is usually 1.6 millimeters in thickness. So I will have to use a full uh, full square meter. This one's only half. This was only half a square meter, and it gave me 0 0.6 millimeters in thickness, which is roughly what I expected the thickness. I will find the use for it. Now, let it set and do some comparison strand test with the industrial made fiberglass plate. <laughs> <laughs> 